In this video, I'm going to show you how to play an MP3 music file located on a remote server. And in my case, MP3 file is stored on Amazon Web Services S3 storage. So our little example will work this way. We will have a play button and when we tap on it, it will start streaming music right away. And when we tap on it again, it will pause the music. And we will also handle situations when a music file plays until the very end, and then it will automatically stop playing and will reset the play button uh, on our user interface. So, okay, so let's uh, begin and create this example. I will uh, start with creating an um, empty application, iOS application, single view application, and I'll click on next, and I'll call it my mp3 player example something like this uh, language i will use swift and devices iphone okay click on next and create okay my project is created i'll go straight to main storyboard and i will uh, hide a few panels here select my view controller resize it to four inch so i have a little more space on my screen and i will go on my right side panel here under the objects library i will look for button this will be my play and pause button i'll drag and drop it here i will resize it a little bit um okay now i need icons i do have icons on my desktop so let me quickly bring it up. Here we go. These are my icons. I have um, pose and play. And then I will uh, open my left side panel with the project uh, structure here. And I will select the icons that I need. And click, drag and drop them to my project. Okay, here I will um, check on copy items if needed. Click on finish and once icons are added to my project i will select them and we'll click on the um, on the list and we'll choose new group from selection i like to group my icons into groups so that project structure is cleaner okay now we have our icons let's go back to main storyboard and i'll select the button and then on my right side panel, I will, uh, under the image, I will uh, unfold the list and I'll select play button. Now I don't need title anymore. I will uh, delete the title for the button. And I have a play button. Uh, okay, our user interface is almost done. So let's um, begin uh, working with the um, view controller Swift class. So I will uh, hide my left side panel and then I'll select view controller by clicking on this uh, yellow button and we'll open it in assistant editor. Okay. And um, to complete working with the user interface, I will need to create an outlet for my button. So uh, I will select the button, hold control button on my um, keyboard, click, drag and drop it somewhere here. And I'll give it a name play button okay and uh, let me actually increase the font size a little bit so I'll go to Xcode preferences uh, presentation to be able to play mp3 file we will need to import uh, AV foundation framework so here at the very top I will import AV foundation uh, okay, and um, we are going to use uh, AV player item and AV player. And for that, we'll, we will need to create two properties in our class here at the top. Uh, it's going to uh, call one of these are AV player item and AV player
these are AV player item and AV player which is going to use this item. Next, uh, let's go to our view did load and uh, we will first need to create a URL to our remote mp3 file. So I have prepared a few lines of code and the very first one is to create an SURL to, a remote, to an mp3 file which is stored remotely and in my case my mp3 file is stored at Amazon uh, Web Services in S3 uh, storage. Next, we will need to create an instance of AV player item that will use this NS URL. And I have a line of code, AV player item, that takes uh, an S a URL. And then we will need to create an instance of the player itself. So I'm creating a player, AV player that takes player item. And now we need to add this player to our view as a sub layer and for that I will use AV player layer that will uh, take the player and then we'll uh, add it as a sub layer to our view and we are using just a circle align it and I'm using a frame here and I'm adding this uh, player layer at the coordinates 0 for x 0 for y at the top left corner and then width and height are actually not very important so I have 300 here but I can set it 10. Uh, the player layer is not going to be actually visible uh, to the user. Uh, okay so player is created and player is added. Now we will need to enable the play button so that user can tap on it and start playing music. And there are a couple of ways to do that. One way is you can hold control button on your keyboard, click, drag and create an action. Or we can add a target on the button itself. So um, we will reference uh, to the play button and then we will add target on the self view controller. And basically when a user taps on this button, a play button tap action will be called and uh, let's create this uh, function right away so um, somewhere at the top I will declare a new function play button tap and inside of this function we need to make a decision we need to check if player is playing then we need to pause it and if player is not playing we need to start playing it. So I have prepared a little if statement here, uh, which checks if player's rate is equal to zero, meaning if player is not playing, we will start playing it, and then we'll update the image on the button to a different one. So if player is now playing, then we need to update an image to a pose icon so that user can tap on it, and that will tell it uh, tell the user that if they tap on the button, it will pause playing the music. And uh, uh, otherwise, if um, our player was currently playing, we can pause it, we will pause it, and then we will update the button to a play icon. Um, okay, so um, this should be it for the play button, and it actually uh, should work. So let me save it and uh, run quickly just to make sure that everything is correct and our uh, music item can be played. Okay, my application is up and running and I can click on the play button and hopefully it will start playing my music right away. Yes. So and the uh, notice that um, music started playing right away and this is quite a large mp3 file and he, when you use AV player and when you use uh, AV player item mp3 file does not download to your uh, mobile application right away in its um, full size. It starts streaming to your mobile application as soon as you request for it. So if I click on it again, it plays. And if I click on it again, it poses. Okay, so uh, if uh, what if we want to handle situation when uh, music item plays at the very beginning, and then we can um, 
either start playing a new item or we can rewind the current one and let user listen to it uh, one more time. And for that, we need to uh, create an observer. And I uh, will create an observer uh, in a new function, which will be called a uh, view will appear. So I will uh, paste it somewhere here, just under view did load. And um, view will appear, will reference an S notification center, default center, and it will add an observer. It will be listening for an event, a V player item did play to end. And then when our music item finishes playing until very end, um, the notification center will trigger finished playing function. So uh, let me quickly create this function somewhere at the bottom while we're talking about it. Okay, so this function will be called. Uh, and the reason I'm creating this and this uh, adding observer inside of view will appear is because uh, when a view will disappear, when we no longer uh, need this view, we will need to remove this observer. So uh, I will create a new function, which will be called view will disappear. View will disappear. And inside of this function, again, I will reference notification center and I will remove observer. Uh, okay, so let's go back to our finished plane, a function and add some code here. When this function is called, well, first of all, we want to set a new image to our button because when a uh, music item is playing, our uh, button icon is pause. But when music finished playing, we need to set a new icon, for example, play. And this is for the case where we, when we want to let user play this music again, because if user taps on it now, it won't play. Uh, it won't play because music item finished playing. It's at the very end. And to play it from the beginning, again, we will need to rewind the music. And to rewind the music, uh, we will need to uh, reference the uh, player item and then seek to time zero. We'll need to rewind it to the very beginning. And the way we reference to uh, a player item is by accessing this NS notification parameter here. Uh, we could easily access a player item uh, that we have declared as a property, but it is better uh, to reference player item from the notification. This way, uh, we uh, are sure that we are referencing and rewinding the correct or the uh, the exactly the item which just finished playing. So, and the way we do it, we reference notification. And then from that notification, we uh, take the uh, AV player item and we seek to time zero. Okay, so that should work. So let us quickly test it. Uh, I will set a breakpoint here so that, um, and let me actually close this and open it as um, a view, view controller like this. So I'll set a break breakpoint here and I'll let music play until the very end so that I can see when this breakpoint triggers. So let me stop it, run it quickly to just to check if we did not break anything. Okay, my mobile application is up and running. So if I play it, okay, it works. Now let me let it play until the very end and then we will see if breakpoint triggers uh, when uh, our music plays until very end. Okay, music is about to finish. And let's see if it triggers the finish playing function. Here we go. So the um, function is called, everything worked well, so I'll just play it. And my uh, play button, the icon 
changed from a pose to play, which also worked. So I can play it again now. And that tells me that my music item was successfully rewinded to its uh, beginning. So I can play and pose, play and pose um, uh, this uh, play um, item now. And this is it for this example. We were able to successfully play MP3 file, uh, which is stored on the remote server.